Look, coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitty. Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty. You know what I'm talking about, cause you just get me. Hey y'all, it is Friday. No, it's not Friday. It is Saturday and my room looks a mess. Yeah, a, a hot mess. But I decided to check in because today is my son's banquet for his football team. And I really forgot about it. So I literally just took my braids down and then I had to wash my hair and now I'm finna straighten it. And I got to have all this stuff done and taken care of. I just tried to find me something to wear because I forgot about it. I just blew this out and I feel like it's giving Oprah. So I'm going to go through it with my um, flanners real fast and wrap it up until it's time to actually go to the banquet. My son's hair was done, but now it is not. So we just had to find somebody to do his re-twist. Like, it, it's just too much on this good Saturday. And tomorrow is the last day of 2023. So, it's like, what? There's so much going on. But I just wanted to stop in, say hey. I might not even use this clip because my room is giving what the fuck. I'm looking at book on, on YouTube and... Yeah, today is just not a, not a good day. I wanted to spend all day cleaning up, and I actually started doing it, and then remember, oh, today is banquet day. So now everything revolves around that. But I'm finna flat iron. I'm finna run through my hair. I'm not even finna flat iron the entire thing. But I'm finna flat iron this head of mine find me something to wear i think my son i already know what shoes he's gonna wear so we just dress around it and because i know he's wearing black and white shoes i've decided that i'm gonna wear black and white and we're gonna coordinate that way um and i'm gonna run through this so that i won't look like uncle winfrey tonight i look like i belong in this century although it is giving body it is giving body and i did cut it off i was trying to get in with my stylist but her son is thinking she gonna take him to the er so i had to get on up and do it because i really thought if somebody else can do my hair <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me that would take that completely off the table so it's something that i did not have to do but because i gotta do it <coughs> let's do it i know i've been away i'm just trying to get my people straight girl don't get my shit away day of the year today i decided that uh, i'm taking some some first some some big steps today and i'm going to visit some family members that i have not been in contact with in a minute so we're doing that today i'm taking my son because he has not saw her or spoke with her um since he was a baby so i'm gonna take him and out that big thing because i feel like that needs a little healing 
that part of my my heart needs a little healing so i'm gonna do that today and i also decided to do a refresh this morning so i literally leave in the house at 3 32 p.m <laughs> which is crazy um i'm gonna go wash my car i'm gonna pick up some laundry detergent because it was on sale drop my clothes off of my brother's house hopefully i'm done with all of that by five o'clock go visit um my family member that i'm talking about and then get ready for it to turn into 2024 like crazy that 2023 flew by i'm not gonna do like a reflection post and all of that but i'm excited about the up and coming year i have a lot planned and i'm gonna get busy i'm gonna do it yeah that's all today is one of those days where i was like if you don't feel like putting on clothes and you just want to be comfy put on some trousers so i got on those blue trousers again because i wear my clothes i have on this t-shirt um and i'm gonna either keep this t-shirt on and put a cardigan on top of it with some tennis shoes to match i have some green and white blazers but I was thinking my sweatshirt, my Picasso sweatshirt from Nordstrom that I really like and put on some comfy sneakers because I want a little put together, but I don't feel like dressing up. And even though it's the last day of the year and I said going forward, I'm going to wear my clothes. I'm going to show up for myself. I'm going to dress up. I'm going to dress up, but I'm not going to dress up today, if that makes sense. Yeah, I decided to, you know, put on the trousers and the t-shirt. And I really like the trousers and the t-shirt, but I think I'm going to throw the sweatshirt on. Um, because I don't want to wear a jacket. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay? Bye. What? May of 2024 be filled with happiness joy peace and love today is officially january the 1st 2024 i have started this new year off so peacefully i did not have to wake up and go to work i was able to sleep in i cleaned up what i could um majority of my house basically yesterday all my clothes washed no dirty clothes besides what i had on yesterday and um yeah today i get to just go and browse in some stores i don't really have anything on the agenda today that is top notch oh my this is a rose voice and it is so gorgeous oh it's so gorgeous Sorry. I love seeing people in luxury. Like, yeah, the car next to me just pulled up inside the same thing. Like, oh my gosh. All in them people kind of, yup. It was very nice. I be wanting to know where they going, what they doing. Anyway. So I'm currently now, I was going to go to Dunkin' because I really miss Dunkin'. I didn't have any coffee on my vacation. When I came back, I made me coffee at home. So today I really wanted Dunkin', but what I decided to get was Panera. I just put in a mobile order for Panera. Uh, the pick two, and I'm about to go in get that i really wish the one that was closest to me had a drive through because i really don't want to get out however i did rapid pickup so it should be ready place the order before i left my house i pink hair in my hair last night and it's giving oprah winfrey like i feel like oprah i feel like i'm very important i also feel like very auntie-ish that's what it's giving so tomorrow it'll be back straight because <laughs> this is i mean it's cute though it's it's cute but i feel real 45 ish my son decided that he wanted to spend the night with my brother because we went over there to watch the ball drop 
And now I am about to pick up my food. I am going to go into TJ Maxx. And I may go into World Market. I don't know yet. Oh, and I want to go into Target. Y'all, my lashes came off. And I'm looking real mo reddish. Like, I look like a naked mo red. I feel like you can see my entire eyeball. But it's okay. Why now we feel like we look ugly without like our eyebrows being done and our lashes being done? When in high school, none of that got done. Like in high school, we never, like we in our generation, we didn't wear false lashes. We didn't have lashes. We didn't have lashes. I can't remember anybody having lashes unless it was like the prom or something. And they were like strip lashes. They were never individual lashes. So why are we so accustomed to looking at people and that being a part of our maintenance? Like individual lashes, eyebrows, waxes. It's like we didn't get all of that when we were in high school. And when I say high school, I mean like 17, 18 years old. Like we were young adults. And none of that mattered. We were bare-faced majority of the time because I didn't know anybody that wore foundation or anything in high school. Now, a little, little, a little lip gloss and maybe a little, little eye shadow or something of that nature. But I don't know anybody that wore lip, uh, I'm sorry, makeup. And some of the teachers that wore it, they should not have been wearing it, but that's what we're doing over there. But now we wear makeup and we get lashes done and we get brows done and we get waxes or laser. Like we have to have all of this. And that was not even important to us before. I'm probably gonna go into TJ Maxx to find a parking spot and eat my food while I'm parked because I don't want to eat here in Panera because I will probably end up taking too long to eat. And then I, I've already told them that it was a uh, rapid, like I was gonna pick it up. So, about to do that, pick up my stuff and I will see y'all in a little bit. Y'all wanna watch my cartoon because yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm back and got my lemonade. It's the strawberry mint lemonade charged from Panera. And if you add, I know you shouldn't because I already charged. So it has caffeine. But if you add three pumps of liquid cane sugar, fire. All right best lemonade ever it tastes like a sweet refresher that's what it's giving a sweet refresher also uh what i like to do at the beginning of the year is um i'm not looking at y'all what i like to do at the beginning of the year is if you have apps or if you order food through apps if you go on there and Look at your points. Typically, they are about to start over or they started over and they give like a bunch of coupons. So like Panera gave me $3 off. So I added some extra stuff because $3 off. Yeah, I can for free. And I have the unlimited sips. Uh, I have the unlimited sips program. So I didn't get my drink. I didn't have to pay for my drink. I can get a large. I can get a large tea or soda as many as I want um, a month basically I think it's like I think it's like one per visit so I can leave and come back and get another drink Chick-fil-A is another one if you add those points like if they scan your app every time you get something or every time you buy something and I know if you like me, you go to Chick Fil A at least once a week. My Chick Fil A girly, I love Chick Fil A. Like, I love the fact that nobody is out. Like the traffic is non-existent, and I love that. I love that. Yeah, I came back on here because I finally got the 
Mm, can you see it? I finally got the Panera white cheddar macaroni. And mm, I don't see what the hype is. It's very bland. Like there's no there's no seasoning at all. There's no salt. It tastes like uh like a what do you call it? It tastes like a roux. Pour over noodles. Yeah. I don't really like it. It's not like super bad, but I'm still eating it, huh? <laughs> it's not bad it's not it's not nasty it's like it's just not ah macaroni and cheese you know what i'm talking about but this is more of a pasta with cheese sauce it's not like mac and cheese She fought to tame me no man this cat nigga can't even see me on man this cat She fought to fly me no man this cat She fought to fly me no way out of here She fought to fly nigga can't even see me on way out of here I'm too fly this cat Hermes ass for the dawn my ass Bitch so pretty look better than Cassie Puffin' on Zooters and she callin' me daddy Walkin' on shit turn it up and I guess Came out the gutter and ain't never me to swaggin' Secure the bag out of bitch I'm a beggin' Turnin' it up got a range she good Parkin' two mil in the middle of my hood Drinkin' no mud I made out of the sewer Pro hard to sense me through that one good Out of these niggas they lookin' the same They copin' my lingo they bitin' my chain Membership championship range just gon' empty shit Bitch breakin' lit to the look at the key Heard it a fountain but make it account of the bring me this money like they my religion This could be a man they have had it vanity Nigga they try to compare with him I did. Them that touch the hundreds, they just have to get. They came out the jungle, they kidnapped the kid. I turned by the bellows, been turned on the crib. Well, look at the ocean, it's my 30 M. Ain't the one I'm at, this is the young man. I keep me no funny, no matter what I'm in. I have such an edge, I'm a fancy career. You fuck with me good, but you can't feel. Cookout and got my Cajun chicken sandwich that I love from them with 
a lot of fries. Those ten dollars. You want them? <laughs> How you want them? Just like a black mama. Don't I had to taste it and make sure it was good. You have to make sure it's good for me. Mm -hmm. You? Well, good for me. if it's good for me, it's good for you. So I had to make sure it was good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These things, y'all. I tell you, you gotta have teeth of steel. Teeth of steel. Oh, okay. I thought I got blue braid. For a pop of color. Thank you. Uh, no, I had to think about it. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. You too. You too. Mm -hmm. Okay, the window. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, this good. Uh huh. She working. She working. This good. You want to taste it? This is so good. Okay, Papa. All right, we headed to the house, to the crib. We'll it's see y'all in a crib. little bit. It's not the crib. Uh -uh. Okay, boy. Mm, you want first fry? That one. Just one. Oh, also, oh, oh, I eat all yours. My bed. Mm-hmm. I thought I always eat all yours. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, I knew you was gonna say it. Mmm. You like my fries, huh? I'm good. How are you? All right. Uh, I bought this yesterday. Okay. And it is too big for um, the closet. Okay. I was trying to see if I could return it. I did open it for this. Yes, um, okay. This is the receipt. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was gonna be like dying. I know you'd have been like halfway down the street going. Uh, I didn't even give my money back. Right. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't know they had a, a pickup locker for Amazon here. Okay, so that was simple enough. However, now I gotta see if I can find another one. I didn't know that they had a pickup locker for Amazon here. We're gonna see if I can find the right one. Sure. Okay, so I. Is this it? I'm looking for a, a closet ride, basically. Okay. The one that I bought yesterday, the hole was too big. I, that, I didn't, I didn't measure it. So, okay. but hole. for, I, I got one of the closet made. Yeah, the one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, the, they were, it was too, it was the right length wise, but it was too wide. Oh, you got one of these? Is that what you're saying? And the rod was too? Yes, correct, correct, correct. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have more, is it more like this or more like that? It's more, it's more like that one because it Slide needs there. to be expand, expandable. Uh -huh. it, it has like the little clips at the end because it like locks in. Okay. It's not in the, the brackets because 
that one that I got yesterday would have worked, but I don't think it's like a, a, a like stud. A rod, like a regular closet rod. Yes, ma'am. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. The 1999 one. It was like, uh, I need one just a little smaller. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like a shower rod. Like that, that, that small. Cause this one was, yeah, this one was too big. Yeah, cause the, the one and one fourth in diameter was too big. So I need something a little smaller than that. closet with the you know the <laughs> how do I put the doors that the Five folding fold doors door. yeah, for what, yeah. so yeah it's Are like a standard these units in there? no I'm like I'm redoing it myself uh -huh. but the original rod is what I that's what I'm looking for. it's she, almost like a, a smaller rod yeah thing. it's almost like a, a shower curtain rod right? yeah that's what I was gonna say like it's but it needs to be a little thicker than that. Did I take a picture? Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna turn to the left. So, we're gonna see if it is actually a shot rod. Ready? Hey. 36. How you doing, man? Did you find something? Uh, Shower Rise 36? Yep. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so if you come during the daytime, you got a lot of people asking me if you need help. Because I came yesterday after I picked up Ryan. And nobody asked me if I needed any help. I was lost for hours. Hello, how yeah. are you? How are you today? I'm good. Okay. I know a lot of people want that to be done before the new year began, but me personally, I decided to start it this year. Like I gave myself the first two weeks into the year to get rid of every single thing that I did not want. I mean, every single thing, every piece of clothing, every single pair of shoes that no longer fit me. And I would normally sell it or put it on Facebook as somebody you know what they like it but this year because i was so focused on getting those rooms done getting my office cleaned and together getting my room together 
because I felt so, and I probably have said this before in a vlog uh, this week, but I just felt so, so cloud, like crowded. Like I felt like my space was being overtaken by stuff and it was making my mind a little crowded as well. Just a little, I felt a little overwhelmed and I don't like that feeling. So I decided to start in my house and within. So I actually have been trying to journal. I'm not gonna say I've been journaling because I really don't like it. But I have been sticking to my uh, covenant prayer that I've had with God. I've been trying to meet it like really, really hard. My prayer. And um, yeah, I am just in a stage in my life where I just don't like stuff stuff you know like when i be like oh my god you're too loud i i just don't like stuff i don't like noise i don't like stuff i don't like none of none of this stuff and i just had to, to get rid of the stuff like but yeah i was feeling overwhelmed now my mind wasn't as overwhelmed as it normally would be with like anxiety and stuff but I have been worrying a lot and I don't like that feeling either because why are you worrying lady like get it together get it together you know everything is taken care of you have a house you have a car you have lights you have water you have everything that you need it's the stuff <laughs> that is lingering in your head that you want that is causing you to feel overwhelmed that's what I'm doing but I did stop to say I'm gonna do a little maintenance. I look amiss <laughs> right now because I am headed to get my lashes and my brows done. Um, my hair actually was not looking bad, but I did not wrap it last night because today is wash day. So I am going to wash my hair, deep condition it, and um, we'll be back. We'll be looking some type of way. I said I was going to put clothes on this year and I have been doing that. I haven't been looking a mess. Um, but I have arrived to get my lashes and stuff done. And hopefully I don't have to wait because I have an appointment. Um, they were booked yesterday. I'm about to go in here, get this done and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Um, yeah. Y'all, I am back. I am back. I am back. Back. <laughs> These people are just walking behind my car like they got bumpers. And, yeah, that's not how this works. But I see you, Grandpa, again in your Corvettes. <laughs> I should have took a picture. I just thought about something. <laughs> Love it. Ma'am, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Cut. Mm -mm. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. But I got my lashes done and I got my brows done. And, ooh, honey, look. I was be trying to hold my, I was be trying to hold my head, I mean my, my eyes closed the same amount because I be feeling like when she threatened, if I hold it a little too tight on this side, this one gonna be up a little more, and if I hold it a little too loose on this side, it's gonna be down a little more, and I just don't get it. Hold on, y'all. I am at Dunkin', of course, getting me some some coffee and then i am going to stop right here at this goodwill drop this stuff off that y'all probably see all in my bag because why um do i still have it and then i may go into the goodwill i mean not nice about nothing else but i might go into the goodwill because after christmas people like to purge people like to purge real with them so, they might have some good stuff. Y'all, I got this from Home Depot in 2022. And I found it when I was cleaning up. 
Yeah, that lets you know I was really cleaning. I'm going to go to the Home Depot and ask can I get my money back because I still got the receipt in the bag. Y'all think I can get my money back? We gonna see. I got it back with the low stuff. Um, granted, that wasn't like two years ago, Kyosha. But it was open. And I had my receipt. So, we gonna see can I do it again? Run it back. Anyway, I have to wash my hair because I look a mess and I feel a mess and yeah, that's what's about to happen. Drop these clothes out. See if I can return this stuff to Home Depot and then go home. No, not go home and then wash my car, then go home. Hopefully, I'll be doing all of that by two o'clock. Two o'clock. We are gonna stay two. And with that. Coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitting Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty You know what I'm talking about cause you just get me Yeah, you so pretty If everything is tempting, go